uh, hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how basically you can uh, display all the files which are present inside your google drive so and also we will be able to search any sort of file let's suppose if i want only the image file and the video file we will be making a little bit of mini search functionality inside our google drive application and also we will be deleting files using their API official API Google Drive API we will be doing all this process inside the browser using simple JavaScript using OAuth 2 let me show you a very simple demo of this application so we will have a simple button guys sign in with Google if you hit this button you will be redirected to the screen where you can choose your account here this is a Google account and basically here you need to grant the permission so we will click the link here so it will see edit create and delete all your google drive files so you need to allow this permission so that we can perform the action in behalf of you so continue and now you will be uh, redirected to the profile page guys so here you can perform all sort of operations you can upload the file to google drive you can also search for files let me click this button search file so inside the table like structure guys you will see all my uh, files recently files so basically i am displaying only five files per now one two three four five if i check my google drive also guys so recently five files will be displayed here one two three four five you can see that and now if i only want the images guys i can press this button only images it will only show the recent five images which are there we can even click this link here hyperlink and it will open this file inside our google drive uh, link here you can see that and if you if I only want the videos it will only show the videos to me so this is the video here which is hosted here so you can uh, search advanced way guys you can only get the things that you want if you only want the PDF files you will see this will show you only the PDF files so in this way you can search your all your Google Drive files which are stored inside your Google Drive using their API all these methods we will implement in this tutorial and also we have a logout button so if you click this logout button we will be successfully log out so once again you need to grant the permissions once again you need to repeat the process once again so again you need to grant the permission so here also guys you can also upload a uh, brand new file also this we have seen in the last tutorial of this playlist series so I can upload any image file uh, also upload file so you will see that basically after that a alert box will be there that file uploaded and this is a file that we uploaded so this gets there you will see you can even see this file as well you can see that we have uploaded this image file and now if you want to delete this file guys there is also a delete button out there so we can we will be also be implementing this delete functionality so if I click this button basically it will make a request to the Google Drive API in the background if I click this button it will take some time and you can see file is deleted so now no, no longer this file will not be displayed once again if I say if I open this file now you will now see this image file is deleted so sorry the file you have requested does not exist so you can see the file is successfully deleted so we will be looking at all these functionalities guys we will try to add these functionalities to the previous uh, video that we have done on how to upload the file to Google Drive we will add these additional uh, uh, capabilities to that program so I will highly recommend that you if if you haven't watched the previous two videos I will highly recommend go to this playlist I have given in the link is in the description of this video first of all the video is uh, simple or to Google login and logout in the second video we saw how to upload a file to Google Drive so in this video we will see how to display the files which are stored inside Google Drive and also how to delete the files so for this tutorial guys I have written a complete blog post in the description of this video so I have given all the source code in the description of this video so this is my blog post so I will highly recommend that you read this blog post alongside with watching this video so let's start building this application so we now have a project guys at the end of the second video we have this project so already some code is written here so I will highly recommend if you haven't watched the last two videos please watch it so I will not be explaining it from scratch so this is the our code guys so now I can open this here this is my index.html if I open this now you will see we have a sign in button here if you click this button let me first of all log out and first of all we need to grant the permission so we can open this uh, uh, in a different browser let me open this here 
I can simply change the port number to 5501 so this is my application so let me log out and log in once again so you will see that guys I can request the permission go to advanced option so click on continue so this was a tutorial at the last video so we were able to upload the files which we selected so now we will try to add this functionality step by step so if you click upload your file is uploaded so now I need to show these files which are stored inside Google Drive so for doing this process guys we will be following our Google Drive you can see you uploaded just now and uh, this is very simple guys uh, if you follow this Google Drive API this is their uh, documentation you will follow this step by step approach we will look at all the parameters which are there inside this API which makes it quite easy to implement and now let's get started so go to now your profile dot html file if you are watching it from scratch in this playlist you will get to understand the code as well so inside this file guys we will add some more html here so already after this form here we will add some more buttons here guys so our first button we will add is for searching the files so we will say that search files the second button we will add this for uh, let's suppose only images so here we will only be showing the images similarly guys we will add a button for only videos and next we will have a simple button for only PDF so we will attach a ID to these buttons guys this will be search and this will be image images this will be for videos and this will be for PDF that's it so now we have attached these guys so after this we after the logout button we also need to show a table so we are inside this table guys we will show all the files which are present inside the Google Drive so here we will have a table row inside this we will have two columns here first is the name of the file which is stored and the second is the MIM type MIM type can be actually for video it will be mp4 image can be png or jpg depending upon that so after this that's complete here we can have our table body and we can give it an id to this table body which is called as result that's it so here we will be populating guys all the files which will be coming from the google drive api we will be populating here so now go to profile.js file guys so right here we have all this code written pre-filled uh, to the previous video so now we just need to add the buttons that we have added here you can see all these buttons we need to get their references so we can simply use document.get element by id so first of all we will use us to use it for the search button so we can use document.get element by id which is search and then we can get the images which is document.get element by id which is uh, images and then we can get our videos document.get element by id videos <coughs> and the pdf similarly like this pdf document.get element by id pdf and we can even get the result as well guys so we need to give it a we have given this id to the table body you can see id so that's why we are targeting it by the id that we have given so document.get element by id which is result that's it so now after getting all these references guys using this javascript we need to now bind the on click to the to these buttons so when we click the search button we will execute this function guys which will list files list files all the google drive files when we only click the images button we will need to execute get images method we will define all these methods later on so just wait videos button we will get the videos and for the pdf button we will bind on click which will only get the pdf like this so now we need to make these four methods guys which is uh, list files and uh, similarly we will make these methods as well which is get images we will make the third method here which is uh, get videos the fourth method we will make is the get pdf like this so these four methods are there guys so now 
we need to search the file so if you open this now profile.html guys so you will now see we have these same interface here so if you click this button now we need to fetch all the files which are stored inside our google drive so that's pretty easy guys so right here inside profile.js we will make a brand new function which will do this process for us so we will make simply this uh, so what you need to do is guys simply shift this code right below here so already we are getting this access token we are accessing it so we will need this access token so that's why we need to just do it just below right this so simply paste it right here that's it so now we will make a simple function guys which will do the heavy lifting which will actually search the files which are present inside google drive and basically this function will take a parameter which is called as q and the default value will be nothing if the user doesn't provide the value this will get this will be the default value which is nothing and now inside this guys basically we will make first of all result dot inner html we will clear out the previous entries of the table like this and then we need to simply make a fetch request guys so if you see clearly in the documentation as well inside this method this is the method we are making get request to this is the endpoint here so we will copy this endpoint and let me explain to you so this is the endpoint guys in order to search files using google drive www.googleapis.com slash drive slash version 3 files this is the endpoint and basically you will see these parameters are there so we will be passing the parameters three parameters we will pass page size is the number of videos number of files that you want to return default is 100 so basically if you don't provide a value 100 files will be returned to you if, which is stored inside your google drive and then we will use this uh, queue parameter which is actually the query string so here we will be searching the files using the string so they have given some examples how basically you can search the files which are stored inside google drive so some examples are given here files with this name hello and basically you can also search for videos and images like this you just need to pass here mim type video mim type image so we will make use of these concept guys so in order to search files so inside this fetch request guys here we will need to pass some parameters so we will simply write here uh, after files we will put a question mark and we will simply say q is equal to and then we will dynamically pass this values here so that's why we will just make it this query string sorry template string so just put in this sign here inside the keyboard so this we will pass it dynamically so dollar sign in the curly brackets you pass the dynamic parameter which is q which is we will be receiving it in the uh, function argument and now we need to pass the second attribute here guys which is the page size as i already told you this returns the number of videos that you need to return so we can say here we can even get this dynamically so we can simply say page size like this and then we have the third parameter guys which is called as support supports all drives so this parameter guys is very essentially it needs to be set to true it's a boolean parameter it simply means that we are searching from all the drives of our google drive if you want to search a specific shared drive then there is a, a, a different function out there but this parameter it needs to be set its initial value is false but we need to explicitly set it to true so then we have the next parameter guys so which fields we need to return so we will provide this explicitly so files is equal to files and we need to return the id we need to return the name and we also need to return the mem type so these three things guys we will be returning here id of the file name of the file and mem type mem type actually means the extension either it can be png mp4 or jpg so that's it guys so this is all that you need to write here this is your request here just pause the video and simply understand this this is very important if you want to search the files on google drive this is the api google apis.com slash drive version 3 files question mark q is the actual query parameter page size is the number of videos that we need to return and support all drives is set to true 
and files is id name name type which things you need to return so now after this put a comma and here we need to pass some options inside curly brackets so here guys we need to pass some options so this is the method we need to pass here so the method here will be get method we just need to make a get request and here we need to pass the headers guys so we will pass these headers we need to pass the access token here so we will simply say authorization and inside double quotes we will say bearer b e a r e r and space and then we will concatenate our access token which we have access token that's it so we are storing it this inside local storage access token so we have previously discussed how to get this access token so if you haven't watched it go to the previous video in the playlist so after this put a comma and uh, that's it so these are the two options that you need to pass as a object here the headers and the method get that's it guys so again as you all know guys fetch api returns a promise so we can handle the promise using the dot then statement so here we will simply return the response here we will first of all need to convert this response to json so we will simply call the json method here and then again it returns the value here inside the dot then clause here and here guys we can simply display the value we can console log info so now let me cross check if it is working or not and now let me open this profile.html and basically if i press the button guys nothing will happen because we haven't called the function so we need to go to our profile.js so we need to call this function guys inside uh, list files search files and for this guys we will get all the files which are stored inside google drive and uh, here we will not pass the uh, we will pass this q parameter page size so page size for this we can simply say here q is nothing and uh, page size we need to pass here so page size will be equal to i will say 70 videos show me 70 videos so sorry 70 files which are stored inside my google drive top 70 files so if i now refresh it guys so what you will see basically if i press this button you will see q is not defined okay i think i don't need to pass q here because the default value is always take to null here so we don't need to pass q here guys if you want to pass a q parameter explicitly then you will pass but other than that you will not pass so that's it if you refresh it now click on this button it is saying page size is not defined i think uh, we don't need to pass like this we don't need to write page size here we simply need to pass the value here like this the first parameter is nothing and comma 70 that's it so in this way you need to pass the values so q will be nothing and page size value will be 70 so now if you refresh your application click on search files so it will take some time guys and now it has returned the error that is invalid credential so we need to log out first of all and first of all again so i can simply go to the next here like this let me log out first of all and sign in once again some we need to grant the permission go to advance and grant the permission click on continue and now if you click this button of search files guys i need to go to console so as i click this button guys you will see it is saying that invalid field selection mem type mm, i think mem type is not there uh, mem type is not there let me cross check name oh sorry t needs to be capital here so i have made a mistake guys here so inside this yeah so this t t needs to be capital so these minor mistakes guys can happen so you can see id comma name comma m i m e capital t y p e mem type needs to be so now if you once again refresh your application guys what will happen here we log out simply sign in once again so you just need to grant the permission here go to advance click on continue and click on search files and now guys you will see a total of 64 files will be returned to me because 
on a total if you search on my google drive a total of 64 files are present so that's why it has returned all the files inside this json response each file you will see it has three properties that we requested id name type and name so every file has these three properties so now we can simply use a for each loop to loop through all this array here and display all the properties so it will be very easy now if you go to the, your code here and simply you can use a simple for loop for each loop sorry the array will be info.files and for each file we will display for each file we will simply make uh, so for each file guys we will simply first of all get the id of the file so we will make a local variable we will store this id of the file like this file.id and then we will manipulate the inner html of the table guys so we will simply concatenate plus is equal to and then template string we can write multiple lines of html code with dynamic parameters so here we will insert the table row guys so table row and uh, inside this as you all know td tag data table data and the first thing we will say guys here we will inside this we will say ahref we will dynamically put the hyperlink here of the file so this will be hosted on HTTPS every Google Drive file has this syntax if you have if you have to open a Google Drive file this will be the templates that will be there this is a structure drive.google.com slash file slash d followed by your id of the file so this is we can get using file.id you can do this close this sorry close and here inside the label of the hyperlink guys so here we can print out the name of the file so which we can access using file.name that's it so we need to basically open this hyperlink in a new window so that's why we can provide a target property guys underscore blank so this will open the hyperlink in a new window that's it so after this guys we also need to show the mem type in the next column so we need to show the mem type in the next column which is uh, we can access this value using the file.mem type property like this file.mem type that's it so let me just now open this just to ch check that if it is working or not click on this button guys you will now see all my files will be uh, printed guys you will see that this is the name of the file with hyperlink if you click it you will be redirected to the file here which we have uploaded you will see this is a zip file and you can see that it can contain it it contains a mix of all the file types it will contain images videos text files pdf files all that stuff we can even filter out if you click only images it will all only need to show images videos pdf so we will look at these functions later on so now we simply need to guys uh, also put a button here so that when we click the button of delete it will all also delete the file so it's very easy right here we can put a delete button as well inside your profile.jpg sorry profile.js so right here after that you put here we can put a button here which is this is a button and basically we can simply put a delete button here delete so here guys what we can say is that we can attach a on click to this button on click so whenever you click this button automatically here we need to write the inline javascript inside double quotes we will write basically multiple lines of javascript code here so we will make a fetch request once again so now to delete a file inside the google drive this needs to be single quotes http s this is a url guys we are hitting here so just kindly pause the video and see it https google apis.com slash drive slash version 3 slash files and after this we let me create some space here if you have some so after this guys slash files and here put we need to put the id of the file so which we have got using id because we are storing the id of the file right here inside local variable of id so we are simply putting this right here 
so here we just need to make a post request sorry delete request so put a comma and side curly brackets you will put the method here this time the method will be guys delete inside single quotes put a comma and now the headers we need to pass guys so here we will pass the headers once again we need to pass the access token so every time you put any sort of operation we need the access token so without the access token you can't do anything so inside authorization inside single quotes we will simply write bearer same format b e a r e r and then followed by your access token so inside this access dynamic variable will pass the access token like this that's all guys so again this returns a promise for now once it's completed it will return a dot then statement here info and basically we can now console log the info here and also we can simply alert the user so that the file is deleted so we we'll alert user that inside single quote file is deleted that's it so that's all guys so whenever you hit this button it will show you the simple message that your file is deleted so now when we i can execute this code here inside the browser so if i open this file here click on this and now you will see that this is my screenshot png file here which is hosted on my google drive so now it is opening perfectly open now if i click this button delete button if you see if i click this delete button what will happen it will take some time and uh, now it will return a message to me that your file is deleted let me wait here let me go to inspect element uh, it is saying that unexpected token uh, i think guys uh, i have made a mistake in typing uh, let me see which mistake i have done here on click everything looks good here sometimes guys if you live code here sometimes you can make a mistake it's perfectly normal here let me check here version 3 files id method delete new headers authorization bearer access token oh sorry we need to put, <laughs> close this single code guys that was a problem so we have in each uh, open this single code we need to close it so every time you open it you need to close it if you don't close it you will get a error so just do this process guys and uh, now hopefully if i open profile.html click on search files so you can see my image is now opening here it is hosted so as soon as i click the delete button guys it will show this message file is deleted you will see that if i now try to access this file if i again refresh it you can see sorry the file is doesn't exist because we have successfully deleted the file using the google drive api so it's a very simple process guys and uh, you can even also delete a zip file as well so file is deleted you will see this zip file is also deleted so in this way guys you can delete your files so it's very easy how you want to do it so we will try to now basically uh, look how basically we can get only the specific images videos all that stuff so it's very simple guys we have written the function which is we will use the same function which is uh, list files inside your profile.js so these three methods are there so now to get the images we will need to call this function in a different way so we will call this function like search files once again the same function search files and basically guys here this time the queue parameter we need to provide the query string so this time we need to get only the images so we will say that mem type contains this is a query string and then the extension of the so here we can simply pass inside single quotes video sorry image slash that's it that's all that you need to do guys inside single quotes you need to write image slash so this will only get the images it can be either png jpg gif all that stuff and similarly for videos you also just need to replace your video instead of image so it's very simple just put video here 
and for the number of files we again need to get just shift this number to 50 we need to get only the top 50 files and uh, for getting the PDF guys this is slightly different basically the it needs to be application slash PDF and uh, again we can pass this number which is 50 so this is mem type of different image types guys so now if I open the browser so what you will see if I click on search files it will get all the files if I click only images it will only get the images you will see jpg png if I get the videos here it will only get the videos if I click PDF it will only get the PDF files so in this way guys you can explicitly search for images videos and PDF files it totally depends upon you so in this way you can search here files here so in this way guys I have shown you all the process here how basically you can search the Google Drive files which are stored inside your Google Drive and we have also looked at how basically we can delete the specific file here and if you want to get all the source code the description is there you can go to the description of this video to get all the source code here and I will I, I will highly recommend that you follow this playlist I will upload more videos in this playlist so that you can master the Google Drive API inside your JavaScript. So please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video.